you know, when I went to D.C., I had never been elected to anything for the first half century of my life, and I went with an open mind. And I'll tell you, when I made up my mind about the difference that it makes, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, a few months ago, the Speaker let me be the Speaker for a week. I got to sit in the Speaker's chair and preside over the House of Representatives and listen to all the speeches. And unfortunately for me, um, this was the week that we were debating the hate crimes bill. Oh. The hate crimes bill, which makes it a federal crime to, <laughs> to, to hurt or to kill someone on account of their race, their gender, their sexual orientation, whatever it might be. And I heard Democrat after Democrat come, front, come in front of the House, the, the C-SPAN, the nation, Democrat after Democrat, call for an end to hate crimes in America. <laughs> and I heard Republican after Republican defend them. I, I wish I, I was making this up, but I'm telling you, there was one fellow who came and gave the same speech three times in one day. He wanted to make sure he had every part of the media cycle. The morning, the afternoon, the evening, he said exactly the same words from exactly the same text. And he said, this is what he said, you have a right to hate. You have a right to hate. And who are we to judge you if you hate someone? He said, it's in the First Amendment. You know, there's all these people who just discovered the Constitution when Barack Obama got elected. Before then, they knew nothing about it. So, you know, I listened to it the first time, and I thought, that's really weird. And I listened to it the second time, and I said, that's really funny in a way. In a sad way, it's funny that he could actually think that way. But then when I listened to it the third time in the same day, I got angry. I got angry. I got angry that someone was going to come up and defend racism, defend yeah. sexism, defend hatred. Yeah. And that shows you where we are now in this country. There is the party of love, that's us. <laughs> and the party of hate. And that's why we have to fight hard. That's why I fight hard, that's why you fight hard. Because what we decide to do makes a difference. If we win, then people in this country have health care, all of us. If we win, then people in this country are treated equal, all of us. If we win, then people in this country will have pensions, the middle class will have a good life, and that's what's, that's what's at stake here. And if we lose, it'll all go straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't believe me, just turn on C-SPAN, listen for yourself, and you'll see what the other side wants to do. They want to drag us back to $4 a gallon gasoline, they want to drag us through endless wars in this country for the sake of the military industrial complex. And they took us to the brink of national bankruptcy and they never learned from it. They never said, we're sorry. Instead, it's just, let's go right back where we were and finish the job. <laughs> so anyway, I love you all. I love you all because we're all on the same side. We're we're with all you too, Alex. Do the same thing. We're with you. We are all trying to make yeah. Our lives, the lives of the people we love, and beyond that, everyone in America, we're all trying to make us better off. Because the way to make everyone better off is to make everyone better, better off. off. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, right.